It's May here and this video is for children who normally go to Scramblers. If you're in Scramblers, could you give me a big wave? Hello! Really nice to see you. What you'll need for this video is a Bible and you'll need a grown-up to help you read that Bible and to help you with the activities we're doing today. Well, the first thing we're going to do is sing our song. So are you ready? Up on your feet, we're going to stretch to the left to begin with. Okay, here we go. Stretch to the left, stretch to the right. Wind up your ears, wind up your ears. Open up your eyes and open up your eyes. It's time to listen to our Father God. Open up the Bible. Open up the Bible. It doesn't matter where. Ready to be taught. And again, stretch to the left. Stretch to the right. Stretch out. Wind up your ears. And open up your eyes. It's time to listen to our Father God. Open up the Bible, ready to be taught. Sit down, let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this new day. Thank you that we can listen to you in the Bible. Help us understand it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lovely. We're going to start off with a game. Um, in the game, I'm going to act out some things that you might do in the day. And you need to guess what it is that I'm doing. Okay, first one. <gasps> what am I doing? I'm waking up. I'm getting up. I'm getting dressed. Okay, next thing. What am I doing? Having breakfast. Next thing. I'm going to nursery or to school. What am I doing? I'm having my lunch. Next one. What am I about to do? I'm going to go to the park and play with my football. Next one. I'm doing some drawing at home. Next one. What am I doing? I'm reading a storybook. Next one. I'm eating my tea. Next one. What am I doing? I'm washing my face. I'm getting ready for bed, brushing my teeth. Next one. What am I doing? I'm reading my Bible before bed. Last one. What am I doing? I'm going to sleep, that's right. Well done. Have you done any of those things today? What have you done?
really, really good. Well, that is going to help us with our Bible story today. We are looking at the book of Joshua and you guys at home, you know some of the story already. I bet you can help me tell it. God's people, before Jesus was born, were living in tents. They didn't have a house, did they, to live in? But God said one day he would give them an amazing new land all to themselves. There would be fields and rivers. There would be beautiful trees with lots of fruit that they could eat. But there were people living in the land, God's enemies who didn't love God. But God told his people not to be afraid because he would give his people the power to chase those enemies away. And he gave them Joshua. That's this man here in the red top. He gave them Joshua to lead them, to tell them what to do, to look after them. And when the people listened to Joshua, they were able to beat the enemies. And now God's people were living in their very own houses in this amazing new land God had given them. Well, many years later, Joshua had got old. He was an old man now. And he knew he was going to die soon and go to heaven to live with God forever. But he wanted to speak to the people and tell them something very important. So can you see here all the people? They're listening to Joshua and there's Joshua and he's speaking. And we're going to see what Joshua said to the people. So we need to open up our Bibles and look at Joshua chapter 23 verse 11. So if you pause the video, open up your Bible and look at Joshua chapter 23 verse 11 and read the verse together. Why don't you do that now? Well done. Did you read it? I've got a little bit of it here. Shall we read it together? This is what Joshua said the people should do. Love the Lord your God. Joshua chapter 23 verse 11. Love the Lord your God. Joshua chapter 23 verse 11. What did Joshua tell the people they should do? To ignore God? To be rude to God? Or to love God? Shall I read it again? Love the Lord your God. Joshua chapter 23 verse 11. What did Joshua tell the people to do? To ignore God? To be rude to God? Or to love God? He told them to love the Lord your God. What did he tell them to do? Well done! He told them to love God. And can you see in this picture, he's pointing upwards. Love God. He told them to love God. And actually, I'm going to pin this up now on my Christmas tree because we want to remember that Joshua was telling the people to love God. There we are. Now, I know that you guys love people. Here are some people you might love. Your mummy. You love your daddy. You might love your brothers or your sisters. We love our grandmas. We love our grandpas. And we might love our friends at nursery who we know. But who is Joshua telling his people to love? Who is he telling them to love? There's a clue. He was telling them to love God. And he was saying that they should love God very, very much, more than anything else. Now, when do you think we should love God? Hmm, let's have a think. I want you to tell me, when do you have breakfast? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night time? You have breakfast in the morning, don't you, when you wake up? When do you go to bed to go to sleep? In the morning, or at lunchtime, 
or at night time. You go to sleep at night time, don't you, in the evening? When do you open presents? Every day or just on, your Christ on Christmas and your birthday? Yeah, on your birthday and at Christmas, that's when you open presents. That's when we do those things. But when do we love God? One day, two days, or every day? That's right, we should love God every day because God is so wonderful and good and kind. We should love God every day. Love God every day. Can you do that with me, with the action, with your hand on your heart? Love God every day. Love God every day. Well done. But how do we love God? Hmm. Should I tell you how we love God? I'll give you a clue. What am I doing with my ear? Do you think I'm listening? Yeah, that's right, I'm listening. That's how we love God, by listening to him. And how do we listen to him? Do we listen to God by standing outside and hoping he might say something and we'll hear him? Do we listen to God by going to church, going into a church building? Or do we listen to God by reading the Bible, maybe with our mummy or our daddy? This little girl's reading the Bible with her daddy. How do we listen to God? Well done. By reading the Bible. That's how we listen to God. Because when we read the Bible, God is speaking to us. And when we read the Bible, we see how great and how amazing and how kind God is. And it makes us love him. It reminds us that he died on the cross for sinners like us. It makes us really love God when we see how great he is. So, love God every day. Listen to the Bible. Love God every day. Listen to the Bible. Should we do that together? Love God every day. Listen to the Bible. And again, love God every day. Listen to the Bible. Well done, really well done. We should love God every day and we can help ourselves love God by reading the Bible. So when should we love God? Some of the time or all of the time? That's right, all of the time. When we uh, wake up, when we have our breakfast, we should be loving God. When we, ooh, where's my next one? When we go to nursery, we should love God. When we put on our coat and get our football and go to the park, we should love God. When we do our, ooh, when we do our drawing, we should love God. When we're reading our storybook, we should be loving God. When we have our dinner and our lunch, we should be loving God. When we wash our face and go to sleep, we should be loving God. And how do we love God? Do you remember our sentence? Love God every day. Listen to the Bible. That's how we love God by reading our Bibles. And look, I've got a children's Bible that you might read at home. You can read the Bible with your mummy and your daddy at home. That's how we love God every day. We listen to the Bible. If you'd like to do an activity that helps you remember that, I've got something to show you. I've made a little bookmark. I just got some card and I wrote the verse on it, which the grown-up might have to do, and then I made a little heart just with red pen and I stuck it on. And it could be something that you put in your Bible so that when you're reading it and you finish a story, you can put the bookmark in there. And every time you look at the Bible, it reminds you that's how you love God, by reading the Bible.
makes your heart love God when you read the Bible. And grown-ups, if you're stuck for what Bible to buy for your child, it is quite important to choose the right one. Do just get in touch, I've got loads of recommendations. That one I showed you, I just got off eBay. So it's really easy to get hold of a really good Bible. Well, shall I pray and ask God that we would love him every day by listening to the Bible? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you so much that when we read the Bible, we see how great and how amazing you are, that you sent Jesus to die for sinners like us. And I pray that we would listen to the Bible and that would help us love you more and more each day, every day of our lives, all the time. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, it's been lovely having you join us. I'm afraid that's it for today. And it's also it for this year because we're about to go into the Christmas holidays. Next Sunday on the 20th of December, we will be screening a very special family carols, which is a perfect thing to invite friends along to who don't normally go to church. So maybe there are people in your nursery who you could tell that about, tell about, tell about the family carols. Um, if you have any questions, do get in touch with me about that. The next two weeks, we will still be on a break, but I'm going to be in touch about how we can support you. Um, do make the most of Christian books that are out there and of your children's Bibles. Again, get in touch if you want any help or ideas about that. And we'll, we will be back on the 10th of January, Sunday the 10th of January. All right, guys, have a lovely few days. We will see you at the Family Carol Service. Take care, guys. Bye.